Hey guys, welcome to my shop. I'm Thierry from Can-Am, SpideAccessories.com. In today's video, well, I'm gonna be talking about these. This is from our uh, Chrome Acrylic Trim Series. They go on the RT Can-Am Spider and the F3 as well. Now this one we really like, it's our rear trunk Spider Rider and it goes on models RTs from 210 all the way to now 217 and even the 218s. So a little bit about the product first before we get uh, started on uh, cleaning and installation for this one. Well, all of our trims have been uh, chrome. It's chrome acrylic. It's been laser cut to perfection. Then it's been, uh, we put a, a coat of urethane on top of it. And it comes from the car industry. We uh, took something from, uh, you know, the IN cars, BMW, Audi series, and things like that, where you would see panels, you know, on the side, the doors, you would see uh, trims go from one panel to the other, one door to the other. And that's what we brought to the Can-Am Spiders. So it's not vinyl, this is really IN quality stuff. Like I said, it is laser cut, it is uh, uh, chrome, and then it is a uh, urethane on top of it. And when I say laser cut to perfection, you can see this piece here, it's actually two piece. So you've got the inserts, which are the black carbon fiber letters, and you've got the other part. Let me just take a little bit of the tape here. I got the tape on the back holding everything together, but we're actually gonna be installing it in two parts. And you can see by, see? So this has been laser cut, the letters have been laser cut, and then they're actually inserts. So uh, that's a little bit about the product. Now, oh, it's 3M tape, by the way, I forgot to tell you, we're using just high quality 3M tape. Now, for the uh, installation, we're gonna start off with what you need to clean your spider. You're gonna need only a couple of things. We're gonna start off with a, a good uh, microfiber rag cloth. You're gonna need one of those. You're gonna need some uh, Windex. I have some commercial Windex here. And you're also gonna need some rubbing alcohol. Now it's gonna be a two-step process to get the cleaning done. Let's go with step number one. So we're gonna go ahead and put a generous amount of glass cleaner Windex on our microfiber cloth. And we're going to start to wipe this down. Now the bike's already been cleaned, but we just want to go ahead and take out what we consider to be grease or wax or anything else. If you're like me and you're, you're Canem Spider, you usually have, you know, something to shine it up. We like to shine our spiders. So you've applied some wax or, you know, some wipe and shine or something else like that. And you've left, you know, a little bit of grease on it. So we want to take that off to make sure that you know, the, the 3M tape is gonna stick on really nice. So, you wanna be generous with that. Take out the excess. And then for the second part, we're gonna take our rubbing alcohol. Apply a little bit of that. There we go. And do the same thing, just wipe it down. Make sure that we get all the surface. And at the same time, the reason I'm keeping my eyes closed is that I wanna make sure that I didn't leave behind any dirt that would have, uh, you know, make like a little bump on there. You want it to be as smooth as possible. And of course, once again, with the dry part, just wipe away any excess. All right, now that we got it clean, let's get set to put that baby on. I've installed quite a few of these, especially at the shows. I was at Spider Quest and the Red Rock Spider Alley, and this was a runaway success. Now, I can pretty much highball it, but for you guys, you know, you wanna, all right, as I open up the rear trunk here, you see this part here, the ledge that we have here, you wanna be about one eighth above that. So as this is closed, Already you know you want to be about one eighth above that and as you you look at it and you're putting it on there just to have a look you can see that's going to be nice and simple to do but then again you want to be able to line it up between the right hand side and the left hand side so to know how much 
to give, there are two ways you can actually do this. You can just eyeball it and think that you need about 3 16th on this side. And if you do that, it's going to fall at 3 16th on the other side. Or we can go ahead and use some tape, which I forgot. Let me get my tape. And if you do this, then what you can do is actually, we're, we're just going to hold the whole piece there. So I just got some masking tape here that you can use for, you know, for painting. Get a couple of pieces of that. And what we'll do is that we'll actually hold this in place exactly where we want it. And after that, we're just going to put ourselves like stoppers on each side. So there we go. Start with that here. One there, one there. So you want to make sure it really doesn't move as we're going to be putting our stoppers. Now, I can see this is nice here. I'm comfortable with the, the one eighth I got at the bottom here. And when I look at it here and here, I'm comfortable as well with the gap I have on both sides, feeling that it's nice and even and that it's centered. So if I'm okay here, I'm okay there. I'm also okay here, but this is moving a little bit here, so be generous with the masking tape. We're just going to put another one here and hold it down. All right, this is good. So what you can do is you get a piece of tape, additional tape, and line it up with the edge of that, but not on it, on the paint. So you're going to put yourself like a stopper. So you know that it needs to fall here. This is good. And do it the same where we're going to be starting off. And that's probably the most important thing is that where you're going to start off. It's not where you finish because if we put it in the right place when you start then you're just letting it fall as you were moving along and then everything's going to be okay. So you may want to give yourself a corner to work with. So now that I've got this piece here, I'm just going to move my tape over a little bit here. And I want to put a piece at the bottom as well. So I'll get a smaller piece. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, pretty much get that one eighth gap here. So it's actually not sticking on that much because you do have only one eighth. So I feel more comfortable with having where I'm going to start. I also have the angle, the angle of the piece here, the angle of the tape, and I know I need to be one eighth here. So I can actually go ahead and remove that tape from this piece that we're going to be installing. All right. And we also want to remove the letters. So we're going to be installing it in two steps. All right. So we're going to put, you know, like the frame first and av after we've put in the frame, then we're going to go ahead and put the letters. So they just come off like that. All right. Put those down here for now. All right. Now this is the part where you have to be the most careful. This is 3M tape. Once this baby goes on, it ain't coming off that easily. So. When you line it up here, when we're going to be lining this up and we're going to be bringing it down this way, you want to make sure that when you stick it on, the first thing you're not like this. I'm exaggerating, but I want you to understand that this way, you're not this way. So I'm trying to put my eyes level with, the, with this line here, you know, where I'm going to be taking my 1 8 evenly. This is where I want to be looking at. So as I'm bringing it down, I can fall on that one eighth and go slowly and this way. And you want to be careful when you do that because if you're starting to go up and down a little bit, what's going to happen is that inside of these, these are going to move up and down as well, especially where it's thinner like this here or for the S. And then when you put in your letters, it's just, it's not going to fit in there because you're going to have twisted it a little bit. So once again, you can do this in a couple of ways. 
you can take off the whole tape or take part of the tape off and then just put on a little bit and then take off the, the tape after. I'm going to go ahead and take the whole tape. When you do that, see here, you got the inside of the S that's still there. So you want to be careful. Take it down slowly, a little bit at a time like that. A little bit at a time. Here we go. So we got the whole tape off. You can touch with your fingers. You'll see it's really sticky. So here we go. So once again, I'm going to line up. This is the most important part, lining this part with the tape that I've put here and then looking at what one eighth gap and then just lay down smoothly. I'm not going to be looking on top. I'm not even looking here. I'm just looking all the way down here to make sure I have even my one eighth and I should fall just at the right place. Okay. So here we go. Okay, this is the part I was going to lay it down and I'm a little too high here. So I need to bring it back down so I'm as straight to that line or parallel to that line as possible. All right, I feel comfortable here. All right, and I just, just with my finger, I'm just sticking it here a little bit. Not here, not an inch or two inches down, but just really at the start. And I've got my 1 8 there, 1 16, I'm happy with that. See, I was talking to you guys and it's stuck. So as you lay it down, you want to use your fingers like this, your thumb, to make sure that you're respecting that 1 8 or 1 16 that you're giving yourself as a gap. And then you just lay it down. Always keeping that gap, keeping your hands steady. Here we go. And I'm finishing up really nice with where I want it to be. So now it's just a question of just tapping it down. Don't go with your hands straight away like that. Just go slowly, a little bit at a time, and make sure that all the inside of the letters here are sticking down. And you have the little part here between the D and the E. Just make sure you go slowly on that. The inside of S as well. It's looking good. Already we can take these off. All right, now for, see I actually went a little bit on my green tape here. go. All right, so put that on the ground now for the letters. You can just take those off. They're actually in three parts. The S is all by itself. The P, Y, D, E, R is, by its, is one piece and the writer is one piece. So you'll see that will be pretty easy to put in. All right, so we're just like a minute, two minutes away from finishing the whole thing. All right, so I got this here. And you already got one in there. All right, so. And if you didn't move this too much up and down, then it should just be perfect for the letters. As you can see, they're fitting in just nice and neat in there. I just have to push a little bit with my thumb. And they're fitting in just beautiful.
All right. Then after that, it's just like it's like a massage. You're mess making sure the letters all go in properly. Get the finger marks out of the way. There you go. That was easy enough. It was fast enough. All you need is just to make sure that you take your time. It's not something that takes a long time, but once you're ready for the application, the cleaning is easy enough. Just make sure that you don't have anybody in your way. Nobody's talking to you. You're well concentrated. Put down the music and just go nice and slowly and measure twice and cut once, remember? So if you need to go ahead and put some tape, then please go ahead and do that. It's pretty much the same principle for all our acrylic chrome series it's you you clean you peel you stick on and it's very flexible because it is acrylic and it's not a piece of metal or a piece of plastic so thanks for watching guys i'm pierre from canem spider accessories stay safe and see you on the roads somewhere